A. To observe the action of zinc, iron, copper and aluminium metals on the following salt solutions. 1. Zinc sulfate solution Z and SO4 aqueous 2. Ferrous sulfate solution FeSO4 aqueous 3. Copper sulfate solution CuSO4 aqueous 4. Aluminium sulfate solution Al2SO43 aqueous B. Arrange zinc, iron, copper and aluminium metals in the decreasing order of reactivity based on above results. Apparatus required Four sets of test tube rack with clean test tubes 400 cc beakers Chemicals required Small pieces of clean or rubbed copper, iron, zinc and aluminium in the form of wires, turnings and powder. Saturated aqueous solution of copper sulfate, CuSO4 aqueous. Saturated aqueous solution of ferrous sulfate, FeSO4 aqueous. Saturated aqueous solution of zinc sulfate, ZnSO4 aqueous. Saturated aqueous solution of aluminium sulfate, Al2SO43 aqueous. Procedure Take 400 cc beakers and label them copper sulfate solution, ferrous sulfate solution, zinc sulfate solution and aluminium sulfate solution respectively with a marker pen. Collect about 20 cc of saturated solutions of copper sulfate, ferrous sulfate, zinc sulfate and aluminium sulfate in the respective beakers marked above from the common shelf. Set 1. Take four test tubes and label them A, B, C and D. In each test tube, pour about 5 cc of copper sulfate solution. 1. In the test tube A, introduce a small piece of copper rubbed by sandpaper. 2. In the test tube B, introduce a small piece of iron rubbed by sandpaper. 3. In the test tube C, introduce a small piece of zinc rubbed by sandpaper. 4. In the test tube D, introduce a small piece of aluminium rubbed by sandpaper. Wait for 5 minutes and then pour off copper sulfate solution from each test tube into the beaker. Observe the color of metals in each test tube. Observations 1. In case of copper metal, no change in color takes place. 2. In case of iron metal, a reddish deposit of copper is formed on its surface. 3. In case of zinc metal, a reddish deposit of copper is formed on its surface. 4. In case of aluminium metal, a reddish deposit of copper is formed on its surface. Conclusions 1. Copper is the least reactive metal. 2. Iron, zinc and aluminium are more reactive than copper. Set 2. Wash the test tubes A, B, C and D with water. Pour 5 cc of ferrous sulphate solution in each of the test tube. One, in the test tube A, introduce a small piece of copper 
rubbed by sandpaper. 2. In the test tube B, introduce a small piece of iron rubbed by sandpaper. 3. In the test tube C, introduce a small piece of zinc rubbed by sandpaper. 4. In the test tube D, introduce a small piece of aluminium rubbed by sandpaper. Wait for 5 minutes and then pour a ferrous sulphate solution from each test tube into the beaker. Observe the colour of metals placed in each of the test tube. Observations 1. In case of copper metal, no change in colour takes place. 2. In case of iron metal, no change in colour takes place. 3. In case of zinc metal, a grey deposit of iron is formed on its surface. 4. In case of aluminium metal, a grey deposit of iron is formed on its surface. Conclusions 1. Copper metal is the least reactive. It is already proved in set 1. 2. Iron metal is less reactive than zinc and aluminium. Set 3. Wash the test tubes A, B, C and D with water. Pour 5 cc of zinc sulphate solution in each of the test tube. 1. In the test tube A, introduce a small piece of copper rubbed by sandpaper. 2. In the test tube B, introduce a small piece of iron rubbed by sandpaper. 3. In the test tube C, introduce a small piece of zinc rubbed by sandpaper. 4. In the test tube D, introduce a small piece of aluminium rubbed by sandpaper. Wait for 5 minutes and then pour off zinc sulphate solution from each test tube into the beaker. Observe the colour of metals placed in each test tube. Observations 1. In case of copper metal, no change in colour takes place. 2. In case of iron metal, no change in colour takes place. 3. In case of zinc metal, no change in colour takes place. 4. In case of aluminium metal, light silvery grey deposit of zinc is formed. Conclusions 1. As aluminium metal reacts with zinc sulphate solution, therefore it is most reactive. 2. Zinc is more reactive than iron and is already proved in set 2. 3. Iron is more reactive than copper is proved in set 1. 4. Copper is the least reactive metal is proved in set 1. Set 4. Wash the test tubes A, B, C and D with water. Pour 5 cc of aluminium sulphate solution in each test tube. 1. In the test tube A, introduce a small piece of copper rubbed by sandpaper. 2. In the test tube B, introduce a small piece of iron rubbed by sandpaper. 3. In the test tube C, Introduce a small piece of zinc rubbed by sandpaper. 4. In the test tube D, introduce a small piece of aluminium 
rubbed by sandpaper. Wait for 5 minutes and then pour off aluminium sulphate solution from each test tube into the beaker. Observe the color of metals placed in each test tube. Observations 1. In case of copper metal, no change in color takes place. 2. In case of iron metal, no change in color takes place. 3. In case of zinc metal, no change in color takes place. 4. In case of aluminium metal, no change in color takes place. Conclusions As already proved in set 3 1. Aluminium metal is the most reactive, therefore it does not react with its own salt, that is, aluminium sulphate. 2. Zinc metal is more reactive than iron and copper. 3. Iron metal is more reactive than copper. 4. Copper metal is the least reactive. B. Order of activity of metals in decreasing order. From the above experiments, it can be concluded. 1. Aluminium is the most reactive metal. 2. Zinc is less reactive than aluminium, but more reactive than iron and copper. 3. Iron is less reactive than aluminium and zinc, but more reactive than copper. 4. Copper is the least reactive metal. Thus, the order of reactivity of metals in the decreasing order is Aluminium is greater than zinc, greater than iron, greater than copper.